Hello, Fannin Middle School students. Ms. Walters here again, and this is your second instructional video on the how to slash cheat sheet page for the library. So if you don't know how to get to this point, which is the Fannin Middle School LibGuide, go back and watch the first informational video to get here. The step that we're taking today is I'm going to teach you how to search our online catalog for finding books, especially for those of you guys who are remote learning. We still want you to have books in your hands. So I want you to know how to search our online catalog, find out what we have available, and then the next video will be how you can request those books for curbside delivery. So. We're going to go to the tab right here that says find books and our focus today is getting print books in order to search the catalog you just click this little search guy when you click the search guy he is going to pull up a new page and this is the this is the new page this is how it looks when you go to harrington library consortium and this is how you search because we're all connected so we have three different or a couple of different indexes to search for if you know the author's name and so you want to find a book by Jonathan Stroud is one of my favorite um, authors for middle grade readers. So you're going to type in, remember that you do last name first and then first name. Okay, spelling does matter. So if I misspelled his name, I may need to Google how to spell Jonathan Stroud, but you can do that. You're on your computer and look at that right there. Now, remember, in order for that to be available, it needs to say available right here. If it says available zero, it means that, yeah, we have that book in our collection, but we don't have it available today. And so you're not going to be able to request that, okay? Um, if it's available, you're going to make sure that you know the title, the creeping shadow, the author, and then it's also helpful if you will tell Miss Walters what genre it's in so I can go pull it quickly. So this book that is available would be found in the horror genre. Okay, so that's how you look for a book by author. Another index you can use is title. So let's say I don't remember the author's name, but my friend told me about this super cool book um, and it's called Fall of Grace. And so I'm going to go into title. I'm going to change the index now and go to the title and type in Fall of Grace. And we're going to see if we have that book here. And look at that. We do have that book here. The Fall of Grace by Amy Domini. And it is, we have two of those copies available. So this right here tells me that I could get one. So when I'm putting in my book request, I'm going to make sure I put that full title that author and I'm going to help Miss Walters out and tell her that it's in the mystery section that way she can find that quickly for me and something else you might want to do if you don't know the author title if you just have a subject like you have this dire need to learn about earthworms so subject is earthworms and we'll see if we have any books on earthworms here in our library Now, this is something I'm glad it came up. Notice this icon. See how this says it's an ebook? I'm going to show you in a later video how to access ebooks through Cloud Library. But this tells me that I don't have any physical books about earthworms. Now, what I can do is I can go up here and I can change and say all fields and see if maybe when I change the index, I open up a little bit more and see some other results. All right. So it looks like that same book showed up. It also looks like I have something called compost critters, which tells me that the words earthworm is in that book somewhere, and that's why it showed up. All right, so several different ways that you can search title, author, subject, and if that doesn't get what you need, go up to all fields and see if that helps. Remember, in order for a book to be checked out, it has to say that it's available. And if it has this funny looking thing, that means it's an ebook and you can check it out on Cloud Library. And again, I'm going to show you in a later video how to check things out from Cloud Library. That is it for this video. And as always, I wish you well.